Sylvia Friedman, astrologer, graphologist, talk show host, maybe soon. <laughs> and I would love to know what you do. How do you do what you do with astrology? Well, I've been, I, I've been at it for a lot of years. I have a lot of clients. People come to me, and famous I love clients. it. Well, famous clients. Famous clients, I do. Like, I was, I've been on names? Oprah, and I know her well, and I've just been on most shows. And I had my own talk show, which I liked a lot. Um, maybe today we can play with somebody that wants to ask me a question. Does somebody have a relationship question? I love those. Yeah. Really? Uh, come on, me. come on. Stand up and ask a question. Hi, I read your book, actually. It's wonderful. But um, my question is, I've had three boyfriends in a row that have been Scorpios. Mm -hmm. So mm. uh, this last one, it seems like it's a good one, but I'm a little nervous about it. Can you tell me a little bit about that relationship and if it's really right? Well, Scorpios. first of all, uh, what's your birthday? I'm a Taurus. Okay. Okay, well... Uh, Scorpio has a hard time getting along with most people, uh, especially the men. They kind of want it their way or the highway. So we have to be, you have to be strong and let them know that you exist and that there's no way to control you. We don't want people to control us in a relationship. We want them to love us. And that if we know that, nothing can go wrong in a relationship. Thank you. And if he's a Scorpio and a male, he should live in fear. What I would say, once a month, <laughs> take an ashtray and throw it through a new window, and yeah, it just scares him. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Fear. Oh, I, Fear. I, tried, I tried that, and it worked. Well, just a little bit of a challenge. Okay. That's is, right. Is there any other questions? Okay. Anybody else have a question? Come on. Get up. Oh, get up. On. Let's come on. It won't be dreadful. Me Nothing terrible will happen to you. No you, questions? You, Come on. You, we want to have a, a male point of yes. view. Okay. Yes. You, yeah. what's your birthday? Yeah. Well, I'm in a relationship now. Um, I'm, I'm dating this cancer. Can you tell me anything about her? All right. Tell me who you, what your birthday is. My birthday is September 21st. I'm a Virgo. Ooh. So you're a Virgo. Well, you have to understand that Cancerians try to please. But, uh, and sometimes they tend to overdo. And you like to be waited on. So the issue is that's why you've chosen this person. You know, take care of me, do what I want you to do. She does that, but then she gets mad at you, and you have to be sure that she won't punish you for it. So just love her. Cancers are kind of moody, fun. Uh, you know, it's, it's not always easy, but then Virgos aren't always easy either. They're charming, but they have their ways. And um, I think in the long run you should choose another girl. <laughs> That's your TV at your expense. <laughs> well, um, we tell the truth, don't we? Yes, we do tell the truth. You now, talk about girls versus boys in astrology. Girls, we, we, I always say I'm in the best relationship now, and every time I'm in the, I'm in the best relationship now, it's because I shut up. It's not because us girls talk too much. It's because they can't take any, any information. Men don't do that. Why is that? Well, they're afraid. They're fearful of feelings. Facts are a lot easier. Give me the facts. Give me the bottom line, and we'll work it out. Now, with feelings, and you go to them, and you say, I'm hurting. I need you to hug me. I need you to help me. And they go, Ooh. But uh, the point of it is that you have to ask for your feelings, and that's real important when you've got feelings and he's got facts you got to work it out you guys i met sylvia friedman through the stars and family you have to get this book you can get it on amazon.com it's a wonderful book you can do this boss to boss relationship or or personal relationship to personal relationship this is the best book in the world it'll tell you a gemini son with the uh, cancer mom and it, you can apply it to different books. It's a great baby book if, if a mom's pregnant and uh, going to have babies. This is a great baby book. This is a great family book. It's a great parental book. I love you for this book. Thanks. And it really is about family and it really is about home. And you're awesome and funny. And she taught me how to drink vodka straight. Yeah, we both did. No. <laughs>